Hey guys, in this video you're gonna learn how to validate data with Laravel. In Laravel, there's something called Laravel requests. With requests, you can validate each and every data field with validation rules. And you can define your own validation rules as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna use Laravel request to validate save product endpoint payload. In this payload, there are three fields I have already defined name, description and price. According to my validation rules, I have already in my mind, the name should be a required field because there's no point creating a product without a name. And so name is a mandatory field and description can be optional. And also the price is also mandatory. And for each field, there should be a character limit name is like 100 characters description is like uh, 500 characters and price also 6 or 7 characters long and also the price should be numeric with these validation rules in mind let's create our first laravel request i am going to type php artisan make request and then you have to name your request I'm gonna name it save product request that name makes sense then hit enter so our request has been created successfully you can find your request inside HTTP folder inside request folder you can find your request in the request file there are two functions have already been generated when you create the request authorize and rules in this authorize function you have to change this uh, return statement return false to return true and this is where you define all your rules our first field is name and the name field should be a required field and it should contain a character limit of 100. Let's put that rule here. Field name is name and the rules are required max is by the way you can find all these validation rules in the laravel documentation so you don't have to memorize these the second field is description i'm going to put a comma here then define my validation rules for description field description and this should be an optional field but I'm going to put a character limit of 500 so the max is 500 then our third field which is price it is also a required field and it should be a numeric field with the character limit of seven numbers we can define that with this little validation rule digits between uh, the price should be between 1 and 7 characters so the price cannot be more than 7 numbers and less than 1 number great now we need to add this request to our controller which is product controller I'm going to product controller and by default the store method is using the default request and I need to replace that with the request I just created which is save product request and make sure you imported that class here let's open up postman and see whether this works 
and before sending the request we have to do a little change in the request header let me do that first in the header i need to add another value called accept and it should also a uh, application json value great now let me send a valid request first it works and now i'm going to send an invalid request i'm going to remove this name field and send the request again there we go the name field is required i'm going to put that back and now i am going to put some more characters in the product name field exceeding 100 characters like this i am going to hit the send button again now we get another validation error the name may not be greater than 100 characters that is exactly we want so that rule works as we expected and now i am going to check the price field i am going to put some big price here like this let's see what we get hit send button we got another validation error the price must be between 1 and 7 digits obviously this is more than 7 digits like this you can validate you can filter out invalid data from the request and of course you can refer to laravel documentation and uh, add some more validation rules and also you can define your own validation rules uh, using these request very easily so i think this is it for this episode of the tutorial series see you in the next one